Good evening, everyone. This is Robert, RJL518, welcoming you to another exciting edition of Inside Pitch. The 1976 postseason is on the air. Well, three we have gone through three games of all the series of the American and National League Division Series, and Nobody is out yet, so we got to go to game fours now, and every series has a game four. We are at Oakland Coliseum. This is game four of the, of the 1976 American League Division Series between the Kansas City Royals and the Oakland Athletics. Oakland leads this series two games to one. Kansas City's mission tonight, get it back to Royals Stadium for a game five. Oakland's mission tonight. End this series. You don't know. You really do not want a game five after you led two games to none. So far, nobody wants to go home. Will someone be going home tonight? Or will there be a game five in this series? I tell you right now, I have no idea how these games are going. These dice have been very, have been crazy throughout these three games, th throughout these uh, four series. And I have no idea what's going to happen tonight so everybody sit back for a big game four between the royals and the athletics brian patterson is first to join us here at the coliseum in the land of oak as we get set and ready to play some baseball will there be a game five or will the swinging a's punch their ticket to the american league championship series Yes, I do know, Bob B. I know we lost. Uh, we lost that. As a matter of fact, that is something I did want to do. So absolutely, um, I did want to do that. And I know Steeler fan will probably mention this as well when he gets here, like he usually does. But yes, today, today we lost. May not have been a Hall of Famer, but he was on his way. Today we lost. Uh, may, not, may not have been a Hall of Famer, but he was on his way to the Hall. There's no doubt about that. So before we begin, we lost beautiful Bobby Eaton. And, of course, I know Steeler fan is feeling the effects of losing J.R. Richard, who passed away today at the age of 71. So before I begin tonight, and he is not due to pitch for the Astros unless, of course, uh, the Astro, unless uh, the Astros somehow make it to the AL to the NLCS. So, in case that does not occur, we will go ahead and give a moment of silence, silence for Bobby Eaton and J.R. Richard of the Astros. A ten-second moment of silence, please. Thank you very much. So we will hopefully we'll see J.R. Richard in the in another in a future season, of course, as of course, if the Astros don't make it to the NLCS in their series against the Reds. But to make sure, I thought I would, since I am doing a season with him, I thought we would mention that he is gone today. Meanwhile, we got baseball to play here at Oakland Coliseum. Let's get right to it. Starting pitcher for the Oakland Athletics, their number four starter, Mike Norris. Four wins, five losses, no saves, a 4.78 ERA. It was not easy to choose a number four starter for the Athletics, and Mike Norris got the call mostly because he had the most starts that I could deal with. Norris is not the best of their pitchers, but let's see if he has a good game tonight as the A's are trying to knock out the Royals. Let's get started. Top of the first inning. Leading off for the Royals will be their designated hitter, Amos Otis. Otis is having a pretty good series. He's batting 5 for 11 for the series. We are using yellow, green, and white dice. Yellow die will be red first. Top of the first. Can the A's knock the Royals out? Let's find out. Three, four. That's a walk. That 20 is going to be too high. Oakland Coliseum has no adjustments across the board. Otis will go ahead and get to swing. Two, two, and that's a ground ball to third, and that's the first out. 
One man down. The next batter will be right fielder Tom Poquette. Poquette is 5 for 14 for the series. Norris will go ahead and make the pitch. And that's a 1-6. That's a strikeout. That 10 is going to be too high. Poquette will swing 1-5. And that's going to be a ground out to second. Taken care of there by Garner, and that's out number two. Two outs, third baseman Mr. George Brett will come up, and he is having a heck of a series so far. He is seven for 14. He's batting 500. So he is a so Brett right now is playing a playoff series like George Brett probably would. Woodman 564 joins us here at the Coliseum in the Land of Oak. Norris will go ahead and make the pitch. 6-4. That's a range play. Brett will swing. 4-6. And that is a base hit past second, but it's a range play for Garner. Garner's range is a 2. He's got it. Nice play by Garner. Makes the snag and throws the first to get the outside retired. He takes a hit away from Brett. 3 up and 3 down. As we go to the bottom of the first. Starting pitcher for the Kansas City Royals, their number four starter, Paul Splitorf. 11 wins, 8 losses, a 3.97 ERA. He gets the call here for game four. Leading off for the Athletics, right fielder Bill North. North has yet to get a hit. He is 0 for 14 for this series. So North better come through tonight, I hope, for the A's if they're going to go ahead and move and move on. Split off with the pitch. 5-5, five, five, strikeout 20, not a chance. North will swing. 2-1, and that's a ground ball to third. He is just not having a good series at all. That's the first out. Shortstop Burke Campanaris is up next, and he is 5 for 14 for the series. Split off will go ahead and make the deal. 5-5, five, five. again, strikeout. That one will get Campanaris struck him out. Strikeout number one for Split Orf. He had 59 of them in 76. Two outs now. First baseman Don Baylor is up next, and he is one for 11. He's struggling pretty much so far. Split off. He will go ahead and make the deal. Two, three. That's a blank. Baylor will swing the bat. One, six. That's a ball hit to left field. That is a four against the lefty. Baylor gets a single to left and keeps the inning alive. Base hit for Baylor. He'll hold it first. And the next batter is left fielder Joe Rudy. 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 Rudy is four for 13. Under, underachieving a little bit. Baylor on it first. Anything on Strat? No. Baylor. Well, that's a six, actually. That was a six. Uh, Baylor does have a stealing ability of a seven. 16. Nothing from Split Orf. And Stinson, the catcher, is a plus one. A 1-17. to 17. Hmm. You know what? I know there's two outs, but I'm going to send them. Baylor's going to try for a second. A 1-17. to 17. He is safe, and he is. That's 2 85% is too high to pass up. Baylor will go to second on a stolen base. And you're the athletics. you got to take a few risks to knock the Royals out. You don't want to risk everything in a game five. Anything with Baylor at second. This time, no. Split off. We'll go ahead and make the pitch. Two, one. That is a blank. Rudy swings the bat. Five, three. Against the lefty. Against the left-handed pitcher. That's a double to left field for Joe Rudy. Rudy comes through with a two-out double. Baylor and the stolen base works to perfection. Baylor coming around third. He will score. Athletics are up 1-0. RBI double by Rudy. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. Joe Rudy, an RBI double, puts the A's up quickly here in the first inning. 1-0. 
Next batter will be third baseman Sal Bando. Bando is just like North. He hasn't gotten a hit yet. He's 0 for 10, although Bando has walked a couple of times. Rudy on its second. Split arc will try to make the pitch. And that is a four. Nothing happening with Rudy. Split off. He will make the deal. 6-5. Home run chance. Bando a righty. A 1-16. That 14 is good. Against the lefty, that's a 20. I don't have to re-roll. Kaboom. High. Deep. Gone. Two-run homer, Sal Bando. And that is how you break out of a slump. Stadium cheers. Yay! A two-run bomb by Sal Bando. 6-5 is a home run chance against the righty 1-16. And that is a 14. Bando has 20s on both sides. And he finally gets his first hit. And what a hit that is. 3-0 athletics here in the bottom of the first. Bando, that's a great way to break out of a slump. Your first hit is a two-run homer. That'll bring up the catcher, Gene Tennis. Tennis is two for nine. Still two outs. Split off, gives up the homer. Pitch coming, 6-1, that's a blank. Tennis will swing the bat, 4-1, and that's going to be a ground out to short, and the inning is over. Three runs for Oakland on three hits, a single double, a two a, a two run jack by Bando, and a stolen base. Three nothing swinging A's. Six years old when Jr. suffered his stroke. I remember seeing it on the news and not understanding why we be able to pitch anymore. Yeah. I know we didn't know much about the stroke that J.R. Richard had back in that time. And, um, I mean, I was young, too, when uh, Richard had the stroke. Hall of Famer, unfortunately, no. But I'll put him in the Hall of the Very Good. He would have gone into the Hall of Fame if he completed, if he pitched at least seven, eight, or nine more years. The only, he would, he would have had a very good chance to get in. And if you want to say he's one of the best pitchers in Astros history, oh, I'm not going to argue that at all. Top of the second, a 3-0 A's lead here. Leading off of the Royals will be first baseman John Mayberry. Mayberry is 3-12 for 12 for the series. Norris has got to be careful. He can give up the homer as well. Pitch from Norris, 4-5. And against the lefty, though, that's a blank. Mayberry will swing, 1-3, and that's a fly out to center. And that is out number one. Norris, however, you can usually only pitches the 20 batters, so we'll see how long he stays. Hal McRae is next for the Royals. He is in left field. He is 3 for 10 for the series. <clears throat> Norris will go ahead and make the pitch. Two, three. That's a walk plus 10, and that will walk McCray. He'll trot down the first on a walk. Even with a 20, that becomes a 26. So that's a walk, and McCray will trot down to first. Runner on first base. The batter will be center fielder Al Cowens. Cowens is three for 13 for the series. <clears throat> Double play depth is called. Nothing on the strat. McCray staying put. Norris has to have a good game if possible. Pitch. Three, four. That's a walk, and that one will walk him. And here come the Royals. This is what happens when you have two number four starters going up against each other. We may have a high-scoring game. Another walk given up by Norris. Runners at first and second now. For the catcher, Bob Stinson. Stinson is four for nine, hits right-handed pitchers better than Buck Martinez does. So Stinson is platooning with Martinez at catcher. Two at one, one out, runners at first and second. 
Infield still a double play deck. That is an 11, nothing happening. Norris will have to make the pitch. 5-3, that's a blank. Stinson swings. 6-3, base hit in the center field for Stinson. That's a single to center. Will it score McCray? Base running rating is a 3. Plus 2, single to center, 5. Center fielder Washington, a 0. A 1-5, to five. McCray will score, and he does. McCray comes around and will score. Al Cowan, that five, however, is too high for Cowens. His base running rating is a four, and he will have to stay at second. But it's three to one. Buckle in, everybody. I think we're going to be in for a high-scoring game. So Cowens holds at second base. And he will hold there. And the next batter will be the shortstop, Freddie Patek. Patek is 4 for 12 for the series. One man out. Runners at first and second. Infield still a double play deck. Checking on a strat. That's a 15. Nothing happening. Norris will go ahead and make the pitch. 5-3. That's a blank. Patek swings. Two, five. That's a ground ball to second base. Let's see if they turn the double play. Two, one, two. Shortstop for Oakland is Campaneris, and he has a minus one arm. So the only way they turn a double play is on a one. They got it. It's a one. What a play there. What a play there, there. What a play by Garner to scrap an back to first double play inning over. Oh boy, that's huge. That is huge. A one, they needed it and they got the double play and that kills the rest of the inning. And that means the Royals leave two men on the base and that could come back to bite them in the butt. One run. On one hit and a couple of walks, though, Norris is going to have to get some better control. Bottom of the second, still 3-1 Athletics. <clears throat> the A's lead the series two games to one. A one here for Oakland. They move on to the ALCS. Claudel Washington leads off for the A's. He is one for ten for the series. Paul Splitorf hoping he has a better inning this time. Pitch from Splitorf. 5-5. Five, five, strikeout four. Got him. Struck him out. Strikeout number two for Splitorf. One man out. And that will bring up second baseman Phil Garner. Garner is three for nine for the series. Splitorf will go ahead and make the deal. Two, six, strikeout, 11, that's too high. Garner, 5-1, and that is going to be a ground out to short. Taken care of there by Patek, that's out number two. Next up is the A's designated hitter, Billy Williams, his last year in the majors, and of course, Hall of Famer. Williams is two for six. He has walked a number of times. <clears throat> Split off. We'll go ahead and make the deal. 4-1. Wild pitch. Ball one. Split off again. 2-5. That's at the park. Oakland Coliseum will say 5-4. And that is a ball hit to right field. That is a 15. And that is just going to miss a homer. He just misses it. A 15. A home run would have been a 14. And that's just going to be a fly out to right as Williams just misses a bomb, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the swing and A's. Still three to one after two. <clears throat> Top of the third coming up. For the Royals leading off, second baseman Frank White. White is three for 11 for the series. Norris looking on. He will make the pitch to White. 5-6. 
That is a pitcher's result. A, against the righty, a 1-18 to is an automatic out. That's a 19. White does not get the automatic out. He will swing 4-6. That's a ball hit to left field. That is a 7 against the righty. White gets a single. Frank White misses just an automatic out, and he does get a base hit. Single for White as he comes through. Next batter will be Otis. Otis is 0 for 1. Infield a double play depth. Nothing on the strat. White staying put. Mike Norris is second time through the lineup. He can pitch to 20 batters before being tired. Pitch from Norris. 3-3 against the righty. That's a blank. Otis will swing 1-4. And that is going to be a ground ball to shortstop. Do they turn the double play? 3-2-3. Three, three. Second base. Garner has a zero arm. A 1-3. to three. They get the double play? No. White will move to second base on the six. And Otis is out at first. And that's the first out. They could not turn the double play, and that gets a runner into scoring position. They could not get it. Next batter will be Paquette. Paquette is 0 for 1. Infield is now back. Norris was hoping to get the twin killing. 3 to 1 A's. Strat roll. 7. White is staying put. Norris will go ahead and make the deal to Paquette. 6-6. Six, six. Error on a grounder. Paquette. 5-3. And that is not an error. That's going to be a possible infield single to second base. Paquette's base running rating is a 3. That's picked up by Garner. He throws to first. A 1-3. to three. Paquette is safe. And he is. He beats the throw, and the runners advance one base. And Paquette now has a single. And the Royals now have runners at the corners. And one out. The batter now will be Brett. Brett is 0 for 1. The, Roy the Athletics are going to play. It's early. You got to get your lead 3 to 1 here, but... Uh, you bring in, you know what? They're just going to play a double play ball and see if they can turn two and give up the run if necessary. It's early. Checking on a strategy roll. Seven, nothing happening with either White or Poquette. Norris, he will make the pitch. Four, two. That's a walk plus ten, and that will walk Brett. That four will walk him, and the bases are loaded. Bases loaded, and the batter is John Mayberry. Mayberry is 0 for 1. Fans here know that Norris is not one of their better pitchers. He has to go at least a certain distance. I can't just take him out. He's got to go at least the 20 batters, or unless he gets shelled, and he gets the pull rating. That's one of my rules on starting pitchers. Bases loaded. The A's are now going to call the infield in and try for a double play home to first. Made bases loaded, one out, a chance for the Royals to take the tie or take the lead. That is a six. Nothing happening on the on the scratch. Norris has got to make a good pitch. Here it comes. Three, six, strikeout 20. No. Mayberry swings. One, six. And that is going to be a fly ball to left field. Fly out to left. That's out number two. Mayberry has a very good sacrifice fly rating. It's a four. And he will bring in White on a sacrifice fly. So White will come in to score on the sacrifice fly. Paquette is going to stay at second base. I don't think I'd send I don't think I'd send him to third on this with two outs. It's three to two. Paquette will stay at second. So Mayberry does bring in a run on a sacrifice fly. Now the batter is McCray. 
McCray walked his first time up, but now two outs. Three to two now. Norris trying to get through the lineup as best as he can. Hal McCray looking to maybe put the, the Royals ahead. Nothing on the strat roll, no. Paquette staying put. Norris needs to make a good pitch. Here it comes. One, two. That's at the park. Open Coliseum, one, two. And that's going to be a fly ball to left field. He'll get out of it in a way. As that ball is caught by Rudy, he makes the catch, and the side is retired. One run for the Royals on two hits and a walk. Chopping away at the tree, and now only down by one, three to two. You think the Atlantics are going to need more than three runs to win this game and put the Royals away? Kind of like what I... Kind of what, kind of like what I, what I, um, kind of like what I said with the Red Sox and Yankees last night. Oh, Steeler fan gonna watch his Steelers in the Hall of Fame game. Preseason football over my game, man. You gotta change your priorities. Steelers in the Hall of Fame game. They'll play the, the starters will play for two minutes and they'll yank them out. Yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> We go to the bottom of the third. Here's Bill North. North is still looking for his first hit. He's 0 for 15. 3 to 2 now in favor of the A's. Split Orf will make the pitch. 2 5. That's at the park. Oakland Coliseum says 5 1. And that's going to be a base hit to left field. North finally gets a hit. But it's a single plus, which means he's got to try for two. North coming around first, heading for second. Base running rating is a three. Left fielder is McCray as a plus one arm. A one to four. A one to four. North will make second. He does. North turns a single into a double, and that's how you break out of a slump as well. I'll take it. I'm sure the A's will take it. Double for North. He finally gets a hit. Only took 15 at bats, 16 at bats. <clears throat> Bill North goes ahead and he goes to second base, leads off the inning. Here's Campanaris. He's 0 for 1. If you're a split or if you do not want to give up any, any runs back, you're chopping down the tree. But the swinging A's are hitting on split off right now. Strategy roll 19. Uh, who? Campanaris. A bunt attempt. Nah, I'll let him swing. I was thinking maybe bunting north over to third, but Campanaris actually hitting pretty well. Split orf will pitch. Two, three. That's a blank. Campanaris will swing. Three, three. That's going to be a ground ball to first. It works like a bunt. That play will be taken care of by Mayberry. He's out at, uh, Campanaris is out at first. North automatically moves to third. So it turned out to be, in a way, a, a successful bunt, in a way. And that's out number one. Next up will be Baylor. Baylor is one for one as a stolen base. The infield is going to be in. The Royals cannot allow any runs. Splitorf will make his play to Baylor. <clears throat> it's worth watching the Cowboys lose in any game. I agree with that, Bobby. I can't stand the Cowboys either. I love my Dolphins. I can't stand the Cowboys. Beatles Eternally joins us here. Love me do, Beatles Eternally. At Oakland Coliseum. And BB BB is late to the game here at the Coliseum in the land of Oak. Runner at third, north there. Checking the strategy roll. That is a three. Oh, no, I'm not stealing him. North will stay put. Split off. We'll go ahead and make the pitch to Baylor. 5-5. Five, five, strikeout four. He got him. Struck him out. And that's a big K by Split off. Third strikeout for him. And that's out number two. Baylor could not make contact. Next batter is Joe Rudy. Rudy is one for one at, a at an RBI double his last time up. North is on at third. Two outs now. Checking strat. 
Five, nope, North is staying put. Split off will pitch to Rudy. Three, two, A's here, bottom of the third. A's win, they go to the ALCS. Royals win, game five, back at Royal Stadium, a rematch between Tion and Fitzmorris. Not Tion, Blue, Blue and Fitzmorris. Split off will make the pitch. Six, six, that's a blank. Rudy swings, 3-1, base hit, right past second base, and the A's will get a run. Single for Rudy. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. North comes in to score. Rudy holds at first, 4-2 A's. Stadium cheers. EA. Cardinals can see that without <laughs> my Mets lost three out of four to the Marlins. My Mets are not going to make the playoffs this year. We're just not going to do it. We're not going to make the playoffs this year. That's for sure. We're not going to do it. Rudy gets an RBI single. It's now four to two. And the next batter is Bando. Bando was 0 for 10 until the first inning when he hit a two run bomb and put the A's up three nothing. So we'll see him split off. Pitches Bando any differently this time. Two outs. <clears throat> Nothing happening on the bases. Rudy on first. Split off. We'll make the pitch to Bando. 5-1. Strikeout 12. Yep, he got him. Struck him out against the left-handed pitcher. He got Bando this time. And the inning is over. Strikeout number four by Split off. A run for the A's. One run on two hits. After three, four to two, swinging A's. But lots of baseball to go here. Time out for a drink. <clears throat> Zalapsky Smurf joins us here at the Coliseum by the Land of Oak. We go to the top of the fourth inning. A's leading 4-2 to two here. A win here by Oakland. They move on to the ALCS. Royals win. We'll have game five on, I believe it will be Sunday. Leading off for the Royals will be Al Cowens. Cowens walked his first time up. Norris will go ahead and make the pitch. 3-1. That's a blank. Cowens swings the bat. 5-5. Five, five. Fly ball. Center field. Washington gets there. That's out number one. One man down. Here's Stinson. Stinson's one for one. Has a single. And actually, it was an RBI single by Stinson. Norris looking in. He'll make the pitch. 6-6. Six, six. Error on a grounder. Stinson, 3-2. That's going to be a fly ball to center field. And that will be Washington again making the catch. No error, of course. And that's out number two. Two outs. Next batter is Patek. Patek is 0 for 1. Norris will make the pitch to Patek. 6-5. That's a range play. Patek swings. 2-5. That's a ground ball to second base. That's it to Garner. Garner's range is a 2. And nope, he can't get it. That'll be a base hit. Patek hits it past Garner. And he'll get on there with a single. 
Two out single by Partek. He'll go to first. And that brings up White. White is one for one. Has a single and he scored. Still two outs. Keith White joins us here at the Coliseum in the Land of Oak. Strategy roll. Partek. That is a 10. I really don't think he should steal here. Let me see. He's got the ability. 15 plus 1 is 16. And tennis is a plus one arm, a, a 17. You're down by two runs. You know, uh, you're down by two runs. You know what? I'm good. If you're the Royals, you got to take some risks. You got the, the athletics don't have to win this game. The Royals do. I'm going to send them one to 17. Partek will make it to second, and he does. He steals second base. Stolen base for Partek. And he's now in scoring position. White will now check. I will re-roll a stroke. Mungo Jerry 3-1-1 joins us here at the Coliseum in the Land of Oak. Looked all leaving for RBI dice on Amazon. Still can't find them. Yeah, they're there, Mungo Jerry. I'll have to maybe provide a, a link in the a link in uh in the chat somehow. Patek on its second base, checking the strategy roll. That is a four. Patek, no, he won't make it. He will not make it. Patek will go to will stay second base. Norris will now pitch to White. Pitch from Norris. 3-2. That's a walk that eight. That's going to be too high. White will swing the bat. 3-4. That's a ground ball to short. Taken care of there by Campanaris. Throws the first side retired. No runs a hit for the Royals. And Norris might just get out of this game early because he has only two batters' faces. He can only face 20 batters before tiring, and he could, and he's faced 18. Nice job by Norris. It's still 4 to 2 Oakland. Well, I know the A's have to win, so there's no game five, but like I said, the Athletics. The Royals have to take more risk than Oakland does. Another good thing, if the A's can win this game, that means that Vita Blue will be the game one starter in the ALCS. If not, that means the game two starter would lead off game one of the ALCS, either between the Red Sox or the Yankees. So you would love to win this series today. Bottom of the fourth, split off against Gene Tennis. Tennis is 0 for 1. Split off, look it on. Here comes the pitch. 1 6, error on a throw. Tennis will swing 6 3, and that's going to be a fly out the left. Taking care of Mike McCray, and that's out number one. One out, batter will be Claudia. For two. Oh, I'm sorry, 0 for 1. Gets set and makes the deal. Pitch coming. 2-2. Two, two. Strikeout three. Got him. Strikeout number five for Splitorf. He's getting some K's here. He's getting some K's. The next batter is Garner. Garner is 0 for 1. Splitorf. Gets set and ready to pitch to Garner. That's a 5-6. Range play. Garner will swing the bat. 2-1. That's a ground ball to short. That ball is hit to Patek. His range is a 4, and he's got it. Picks it up. Fires to first. Side retired. 1-2-3. Go the A's. Split off so far has done a good job coming down, but Oakland still leads 4-2. We go to the top of the fifth. Mike Norris has two more batters to face before being tired. I know the A's would love to see if he can get through this inning, but it'll have to do with the top of the order. Amos Otis leads off. He's 0 for 2. Norris, he goes ahead and gets set. And here comes the pitch. 
Four, four against the righty. Strikeout five. Got him. Struck out Otis. And that is strikeout number. That's strikeout number one for him. First strikeout for Norris. He only had 44 of them in 76. And that's a big K. That's out number one. Tom Poquette is next. He's one for two. Norris gets set and makes the pitch. Two, three. That's a walk plus 10, but that 19 is going to be too high. Paquette is an eight, and plus 10 is an 18, and he does not walk Paquette. But Paquette does get to swing the bat. Four, three, and he grounds it to first. Baylor's got it. Takes the bag. Out number two. Wow, Norris got lucky as Paquette, Paquette probably swung at ball four and he grounds it to first base. Norris is now tired and coming up to bat is Mr. George Brett. They're going to let Norris pitch to him and see if Norris can get out of the inning. Mike Norris will pitch to Brett. Four to two, top of the fifth. Fans here at Oakland Coliseum hoping for a good pitch by Norris. Here it comes. Two, five, strike out two. Got him, struck him out. Side retired. One, two, three, go the, go the Royals. Halfway through the game, four to two, Oakland. Bottom of the fifth. Leading off for Oakland will be Billy Williams. Williams is 0 for 1. Split off. Getting set to deal with Williams. Williams missed a home run by in, by pretty much a by pretty much a few feet. Split off will make the deal. 5-1. Strikeout 17. No. Williams will swing. 3-3, three, three, and that's a ground out to second base. Taken care of by White, and that's out number one. One man down. The batter is Bill North. North got a, got a double. His got a double finally. Finally got himself a hit and scored. So he's now one for sixteen. Split off. Gets set to go to North. Going north of the border. Split off. Two five. That's at the park. Oakland Coliseum says 6-3, and that is going to be a ground out to short. And that is out number two. Two outs now for Campanaris. Campanaris is 0 for 2. Split off. He will get set and make the pitch. 2-1, blank, Campanaris. Two, six. That's going to be a fly ball center field. Al Cowens will get there. And the inning is over. One, two, three. Go the A's. Still four to two here after five. We go to the top of the sixth. Mike Norris is tired. The leadoff batter is John Mayberry, and he is 0 for 2. And I think we're going to see a new pitcher. That's going to be it for Norris. He's tired, and he will not pitch any further, but he leaves the chance to get the win. They got a lefty and two righties coming up for Oakland. So I think we'll see a right-handed pitcher coming in, and that is going to be Stan Bonson. Eight wins, seven losses, no saves, a 3-3-4 ERA. Norris did his job. Now the Oakland bullpen will try to close this series out. Stan Bonson will pitch to Mayberry. Top of the sixth. Keith White said Tom Poquette left the lie on. It's Tom Burdett. Bonson will pitch. 
three, four, walk, 20. That's too high. Mayberry will swing. Three, four, that's going to be a fly ball center field. Washington's got it, out number one. One man out. And here's McCray. McCray is over is over one. He walked in the second inning. Bonston trying to get the job done. Pitch. Two, three. That's a range play. McCray. Two, five. That's a fly ball to right field. That's it to Bill North. North's range is a four. Does he make the play? Yes, he does. Out number two. Easily on a one. North had his eyes closed and made the catch. Two down. And now here's Al Cowens. Cowens is 0 for 1. Bonson would love a 1 2 3 inning here. Bonson will go ahead and make the pitch. 6 5. Strikeout 4. Got him. Struck him out. And it's 1 2 3. Go the. Nice job by Bonson. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Still four to two, Athletics. Don Baylor leads off for Oakland. He is one for two, a single and a stolen base. Split off can pitch the 29 batters before tiring. He's still pretty strong. Question is, is how long they're going to let him go. But they're going to keep him out there. He, is, he has settled down. Split Orf will go ahead and make the pitch. But if he allows a run, he'll probably be over. 4-1, wild pitch, ball one. Split Orf will go ahead and make the deal. 4-6, a possible error. Baylor will swing, 1-5, and that's not going to be an error. That's going to be a full rolling ground and a short, possible infield single. Baylor's base running rating is a 4, picked up by Patek, a 1-4. Baylor is safe at first, and he is infield single. And Baylor leads off with a hit. Slow rolling ground and a short, and that was picked up. By Patek, but Baylor runs very well, and he made it easily. And a big run at first base for the Athletics. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. Rudy is, Joe Rudy is two for two, a double and a single tonight. Infield, a double play death. Checking on a strat. Baylor, definitely a stealing threat. That is a six, and I think I may send him 16 Zero, and Stinson is a plus one of 17. Yeah, I think I'm going to send Baylor. Baylor's going to try to steal second. He's going to try to steal second. A one to 17, he does, and he is out of there at second base. Stinson gets up, fires to second with an 18, and he got him. Holy cow, Baylor is thrown out. Why is it every time when I got like an 85, an 80, or even a 75% chance to get, steal a base, somehow they don't get it? Out number one. But that was the right call. So here's Rudy. Split arc will make the pitch to Rudy. One three. That's a walk plus 10. And that will walk Rudy on a Infield double play death. Nothing for Rudy. He sticks put. Split Orf trying to keep this a 4 2 game here in the bottom of the sixth. Split Orf with the pitch. 1 2. That's at the park. Oakland Coliseum 4 6. That's going to be a grounder to second base. Will they turn to 2 0 3? Shortstop. Patek is a zero. A one to three, it's a double play. They got it. Side retired on a three. So Split Orf gets the twin killing, and that ends the threat.
Four, six, three, double play. No runs and a hit for Oakland. We are at through six innings. Salvador America joins us here at the Coliseum by the Land of Oak. And yes, J.R. Richard is gone, absolutely. Yes. And I did a moment of silence for him in this game. We go to the top of the seventh inning, 4-2 Oakland. Leading off for the Royals will be Bob Stinson. Stinson is one for two. Come in to pitch for Norris, who did a very good job. Bonson will make the pitch to Stinson. 5-2. That's a blank. Stinson swings the bat. 2-2. Two, two. Ground ball right back to Bonson. He'll toss it to first for the out. One down. <clears throat> and the batter will be Patek. Patek is one for two, a single and a stolen base. Bonson will make the pitch to Patek. 3-1. Hit by pitch. Six, no. Patek will swing the bat. Two, three. Base hit to right field. Patek gets a single. And he'll trot to first on a single. That's his second hit of the game. Next batter will be White. White is one for two at the single. Patek a definite stealing chance. Infield is a double play depth. That is a three. I am not going to send Patek. This time you're down by two runs. you got to stay on the field. You've got to stay on there. I'm not going to take a chance. So Bontek will stay put. No steal. Bonson will make the pitch. 4-3 against the righty. That's an automatic out. And that's going to be a fly out the center. Out number two. Two outs now. And the batter is Otis. Otis is 0 for 3. Bonson is going to go ahead and make the deal to Otis. Checking strategy roll. An eight. Nothing happening. I'm not sending Bontek. Bonson does have a good pickoff rating. It's another reason why I got a roll. Bonson will make the pitch to Otis. And that's a two five. An error on a throw. Otis will swing. Four six. And that's going to be a ground ball to short. It's a ground ball to the shortstop. It's hit to Campanaris. His error rating is an eight. That's a four. He's going to make an error. Campanaris is going to make an error on a throw. The question is, is where would the ball? It's not a double play. So I think the ball would have went to first because Otis is the slower runner. So that's going to be a throwing error on Campanaris. The throw goes to first and to Baylor. Baylor's range is a three. Does he prevent the ball from getting past him? Yes, he does. It's only going to be a one base error. Oh, my. That's a knee six on Campanaris. First error on the A's. Error rating of an eight. And a rolls four, and that goes as an error, and that keeps the inning alive. And Campanaris is hanging his head, and that gives another batter a chance, and that's Tom Poquette. Poquette is one for three. The tying run is on due to a huge error. And now Bonson will have to pitch to Poquette. They go talk to Bonson on the mound. They will keep him out there. He'll let him. They'll let him. He'll let him pitch. Doesn't really matter who who's on the mound for Paquette. Paquette hits lefties and righties just the same. So runners at first and second now on a ginormous error by Campanaris to keep the inning alive. 
Two out. Strategy roll. Five. Nothing happening. Patek is not going to try to steal third. Bonson has to try to make a good pitch. Hopefully this cancels out the error, but Bonson knows it's got to be good. Here comes the pitch. It's a 2-1. Wild pitch. Ten. Possible pass ball. Tennis's pass ball rating is a two, and that's going to get by him, and the runners will advance. That's a pass ball now on tennis, and the runners move up. And now coming is the pitching coach real quick to talk to Bonson and talk to tennis and try to settle him down. You don't want to walk Paquette, then you got to pitch to Brett. So pick your poison, they're going to pitch to Paquette. Top of the seventh inning, four to two. And I'm going to check to see if I want to make a pitching change anyway, although I just don't think I should just yet. Not yet. So they're going to go with Bonson. Bonson will pitch to Paquette. An error and now a pass ball. It's 4-2. to two. A base hit could tie this game. Paquette is 1-3. for three. Rolling the strat again. That is a 1. Patek is not going to try to steal home. He'll stay put. Bonson again has to make a good pitch. Here it comes. 6-3, wild pitch, one, and we'll bring in a run. you got to be kidding me, a wild pitch again. This time it's a wild pitch. Patek scores 4-3. to three. And Otis will go to third. And the fans here at Oakland Coliseum can't believe it. Stadium groans. <sighs> the Oakland, the Kansas City Royals have just scored a run on two, on a wild pitch, a pass ball, and an error. With two outs here in the top of the seventh. And Paquette still the batter. And they're going to try again with them. Stan Bonson will have to pitch the Paquette, but now it's 4-3. to three. A base hit ties the game. Boy, is that error gigantic. Should be three outs. But Patek scores on a wild pitch. Now Otis on at third. Pitching a Pulling the strategy, that is a six. Nothing happening. Bonson will make the pitch again. Five, five. That's an automatic out. Look out of it. And that's going to be a fly out to left. And the inning is over. But, oh, wow. One run on one hit, an error, a pass ball, and a wild pitch. But even though it's now four to three, the Royals are beginning to run out of outs. We are at the seventh inning stretch. Ball game, I'll be right back.
tomorrow night on Inside Pitch, Game 4 of the National League Division Series between the Philadelphia Phillies and the New York Mets. Can the Mets stave off elimination for a second time? It will be Larry Christensen for the Phillies and Mickey Lolich for the Mets. If they win, Game 5 will be back at the vet, a receiver and Carlton. And on Saturday, we will have a doubleheader, game one in the morning, the Reds and the Astros, and game two in the night, the Yankees and the Red Sox. And of course, if somehow here the Royals win this game, game five of this series will be Sunday more will be Sunday morning. But if there is no, but if there, but they do lose, then that means that the Met Philly game, we might have a doubleheader again on Sunday, but but two different games. We'll see what happens here. Bottom of the seventh, A's lead four to three. They lead this series two games to one. Leading off for the for the A's will be Gene Tennis, and Tennis is 0 for 2. And that's the bullpen and start bringing in their top relievers. They come in. Marty Patton, eight wins, 14 losses, five saves, a 2.49 ERA. Even though Split Orf hadn't reached his control rating yet, it was time to make a change. So here comes Marty Patton. The A's have right, left, right coming up, so that's why Patton's going to be in there. Patton will go ahead and make the pitch to tennis. Bottom of the seventh, four to three, Oakland. Patton, he will now make the pitch. Two, three, that's a possible error. Tennis, six, five, against a right-hander. That's a ground ball to short. That ball is hit to Potek. Potek's error rating is a 10. That's a 16. He's got it. Throws to first. Out number one. Potek doesn't make the error. He makes the play. Here's Washington. Washington is 0 for 2. He struck out twice. Patton looking in. He'll make the pitch. 4-6, wild pitch, ball one, do it again. Patton, 6-6, six, six, range play. Washington, 5-6, ground ball to first. The ball is hit to Mayberry. Mayberry's range is a four. That's a six that gets past him. And that is going to be a double down the line for Cordell Washington. Washington gets a double as he hits it right past Mayberry. And the A's have a huge run at second base. Batter now is Garner. Garner is 0 for 2. Washington goes ahead and gets to second. A big run at second base for the A's. One out. Strategy roll, a one. Uh, Washington does have a very good chance to steal. 13 plus two is 15. And Stinson plus one is 16. But I am not going to send him this time. I'm going to let Garner swing the bat. He's already in scoring position. There's no, I don't think there's any need to get him to third like that. You're up by one run. Got to go ahead and get him in. Patton will go ahead and make the pitch. 1-1. One, one. Error on a throw. Garner will swing. 2-4. That is a ground ball to second base. That ball is hit to Frank White. His error rating is an 8. That's a 20. He's got it. Throws to first. Out number 2. Washington goes to third. Wow, two error chances, and, and the Royal defense comes up good. But Washington goes to third, and the batter now is Billy Williams, and he will bat. It's the seventh inning. He has to bat yet. He has to bat.
Pack will go ahead and prepare to make the pitch. He's got to be careful, though. He can uncork a wild one. That's an 18. Nothing happening. Patton will make the pitch. 2-2. Two, two. Against the lefty, that's a blank. Williams will swing. 3-4. And that's a fly ball to right field. Paquette will get to it. And the side is retired. No runs. A hit for Oakland. Still 4-3 after 7. Top of the eighth. Royals are running out of outs. They're down by one. George Brett is the leadoff batter. They have left, left, right coming up. Bonson is coming out. And coming on to pitch for the, for the Athletics will be Paul Lindblad. Six wins, five losses, five saves, a 3 CRA. Lindblad will come in to pitch against two lefties and a righty. Top of the eighth, four, three. Fans here at Oakland Coliseum hoping to knock out the number two seed in the AL, and that's the Royals. Lindblad will go ahead and make the pitch. Four, three. Error on a grounder. Brett will swing. Four, three. That's a ball hit the left field. That is a seven against the lefty. That's a double for George Brett. Double to Brett. And that ball is hit. That ball is hit to left field. Left fielder is Rudy. His error rating is a two. He will not make an error. Brett will hold at second base. Tying run is on. Leadoff double by Brett. And the batter now will be Mayberry. Mayberry is 0 for 3. That's all George Brett right there. That's his first hit of this game. Lindblad will have to make the pitch to Mayberry now. Nobody out. Strategy rolls are still active. That is a two. Uh, Brett is not going to try to steal. That would be dumb. Let Mayberry swing the bat. Four to three. Brett on its second. Lindblad with the pitch. 4-5, range play at the park, Oakland Coliseum, 4-3, and that's going to be a ground ball to third. That ball is hit to Bando, his range is a three. Can he make the play? Yes, he does. Bando's got it. Throws to first, out number one. The only way Brett can get to third is on a six. He doesn't. He stays at second base. What a play by Bando. On a range play at the park, he gets it. That's the first down. Batter now is McCray. McCray is 0 for 2. Fans here at Coliseum hoping Lynn Black can get it done. Do I let him pitch to McCray? No. Lindblad's going to come out of the game as he's done his, he's did what he could do here, and the A's are going to go to the bullpen once again. And coming on to pitch right now to try to get five outs will be Raleigh Fingers. They're going to go to the closer now. Here's Raleigh Fingers, Hall of Famer. 13 wins, 11 losses, 20 saves, a 2 4 7 ERA. Fingers is going to come in to try to get this game done and end the series. Fingers does have a save. He has one save in the, in the series so far. He does have a save. Brett on at second. They're going to go to the closer now. Nothing on the strat. Brett on there. Fingers looking at a McCready. He's going to make the pitch. 1-3. Home run chance. McCready a righty. A one is the only way he can do it. That 15 is too high. McCready does swing the bat, though. 
one, two, and that's going to base it right past the shortstop. Brett's base running rating is a four, and he will score. Tie game. RBI single by McCray, and the Royals have tied it. <laughs> Al McCray. Al Cowens is, is uh, what is he here? He is 0 for 2. Tied it. Play depth. Checking strategy. And I don't think I'm going to do a hit and run here. I think that'd be a mistake. Let me see. He has a 13. Fingers is zero. A hit and run is available, but I'm not going to call it. McCray on it first. Fingers will now pitch to McCowan. Two, six, strikeout, four. Got him. Struck him out. He gets Cowens. And that is the second out. And here is Stinson. Stinson is one for three. McCray on it first. 16, no play. Fingers will have to try to get a win now if possible. Fingers will make the pitch to Stinson. Pitch from three. Walk. 15, that's too high. Four, that's a fly ball to left field. And that'll be caught by Rudy, and the inning is over. Game, one run on two hits. Four going to the bottom of the eighth. Bottom of the eighth inning, tied at four. A's lead this series two games to one. A's win, they're in the ALCS. Royals win, game five will be Sunday. Marty Patton against Bill North. <clears throat> and Patton will pitch to North. Patton has, uh, he's got a couple more batters he can face. He will pitch to North. North does not do as well against righties as he does against lefties. So Marty Pat Mending will pitch to North. North is one for three. Looking for a big hit. Patton with the pitch. 5-2. Range play. North swings. 2-3. That's a ground ball right back to Patton. Patton's range is a three. And he's got it. And he'll toss it over to first for out number one. Come back or right back to Patton, and he gets him out. Next batter is Bert Campanaris, and he is still mad at himself for the error that led to a Kansas City run. Campanaris is 0 for 3. You know he wants to come through with a hit. Patton, he'll make the pitch. 5-3, strike out one, got him easily, struck him out. Two down. And here's Don Baylor. Patton is now tired. They're going to let him pitch to see if he can get one more batter. Or do they? Time out. This is American League Baseball, so... Got to see what they want to do here. That's going to be it for Patton. They're going to take him out. And coming on to pitch for the Royals will be Mark Lissames. Let's play ERA. So this Mark Liddell. He can pitch the seven batters. So Baylor hitting to the opposite field. That ball is hit to right. And that's it to Paquette. Paquette's range is a two. He doesn't make it, though. And that's going to drop for a single. 
Baylor gets a single, and he misses a big home run chance against Liddell. But he gets on pace with a single, and that's his third hit. So Don Baylor keeps the inning alive, and that will bring up Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. Rudy, two for two, a single and a double and a walk. He's yet to be cost out. Baylor goes ahead, misses a home run by about by about maybe six feet, but it was out of the range of Paquette, so it still dropped for a single. Joe Rudy, a batter, can he bring in the run at first? They need a double at least. Two outs. Am I rolling the strat? Yes, I am. That is a five. Baylor has a very good chance to steal. 16 plus 2 is 18, and Stinson plus 1 is a 19. You may think I'm nuts. I'm going to send Baylor to second. A one to not, the only way Baylor is out is on a 20. And he's safe. And that was actually close. It almost landed on the 20, but Baylor goes to second base, and now a single could bring him in. Second stolen base for Baylor. Rudy on it. Rudy now at the plate. Checking strategy roll again. That is a nine. This time, nothing happening. Baylor on it second. Liddell's about to make the pitch to Rudy. Baylor hoping to come on home. Liddell hoping to get to the ninth inning. With, with the score tied as it is. Liddell with the pitch. Four, three, hit by pitch, 16, no, that's too high. Rudy will swing. One, three, against the righty, it's a ground ball to first base. Against the right-handed pitcher, it's a ground ball to first, I'm sorry, ground ball to third. Ground ball to third base, picked up by Brett, throws to first, side retired. No runs and a hit for the Royals tied at four. Will we see some ninth inning magic? Top of the ninth. Tied at four. A's lead the series two games to one. A win here for the A's. They move on to the ALCS. Royals, a win here for the Royals. Game five will be Sunday. It will be Blue and Fitzmorris back at Royal Stadium. <clears throat> Freddie Patek leads off for Kansas City. He is two for three. He will bat. Fingers has about five batters to face before getting tired. Fingers couldn't get the closing deal. Now he's got to try to get the win. The man with the mustache. Fingers makes the pitch. 2-5 against the righty. Strikeout plus 16. Got him. Struck him out. And Patek goes down at out number one. Fingers had 113 strikeouts and 134 range pitched. That was pretty good. Next batter will be Frank White. I was thinking of taking Frank White out, but I'm not going to do it. If this goes into extra inning, we need the range at second base, and Frank White was an excellent second baseman in 76. White is one for three. Raleigh Fingers looking on. He will make the pick. 6-3. That's at the park. Oakland Coliseum says 2-3. And that's a fly ball to left field. Rudy makes the catch. Out number two. Two outs. And now the top of the KC lineup here is Otis. Otis is 0 for 4. He reached on an error. Stole a bait uh, again, wild pitch and a pass ball got him a couple of extra bases. But Otis is 0 for 4. 
Two outs. Fingers trying to keep this a 4-4 game. Here comes the pitch. 1-1. One, one. Error on a throw. Otis. 5-5. Five, five. That's a ground ball to short. That ball is at the Campanaris. His error rating is an 8. That's a 12. This time he doesn't make an error. And he throws the first. Side retired. One, two, three. Go the Royals. Can the A's win it in the bottom of the ninth and head on to the ALCS? We go to the bottom of the ninth inning. Will we see some walk-off magic for the Athletics? Two to one. A's lead the series. Tied at four. Leading off for the Athletics will be Sal Bando. Bando is one for three. He has a home run in this game. It's the only hit he has in this series. Liddell will pitch to him. Liddell has five batters left before getting tired. Fans here at the Col at Oakland Coliseum on their feet, hoping for a big walk-off win. Liddell looking at Bando. And here we go. Liddell with the pitch. 6-6. Six, six, strikeout 17. That's too high. Bando swings. 6-6. Six, six, and that's going to be a fly out to center field. And that's out number one. One down. Next batter will be Tennis. Tennis is 0 for 3. Liddell will go ahead and make the pitch to Tennis. Tied at four here, bottom of the ninth. Liddell with the pitch. One, four, strikeout plus eight. Got him, struck him out. Two down. Two outs. And now the batter is Claudel Washington. Washington is one for three, has a double. Mark Liddell will try to go ahead and finish this, and we go to extras. Liddell looking on. Washington ready to make a pitch. Here it comes, the pitch from Liddell. Four, five, wild pitch, ball one. Liddell will try again. Three, five, that's an automatic out. That's going to be a ground ball to second base. Up with it is White. Throws the first. We have free baseball. Free baseball. Free baseball here. Get your free baseball. Playoff baseball in extra innings. Does it get any better than that? Tied at four after nine. We go to the top of inning number 10. Tied at four. No, no ghost runners here. Top of the 10th inning. Leading off for the Royals will be Tom Poquette. Raleigh Fingers has two more batters he can face before being tired. Tied at four, top of the 10th. Fans here at Oakland Coliseum. Hoping the A's can knock this out. Royals hoping to send it back for a game five. Fingers will make the pitch. Three, five. That's a strikeout. Ten. That's too high. Paquette will swing. Six, six. Fly out to right. One out. Next batter will be George Brett. Brett is one for three. Had a double his last time up. And score. Fingers will go ahead and make the deal to Brett. Tied at four. Fingers with the pitch. Four three against the lefty. Check 
out, 15, no. Brett will swing to one, ground ball, second base. Up with it is Garner, throws to first, out number two. The batter now is John Mayberry, and Fingers is tired. But they're going to let him pitch, as you should. Try to get out of this inning. Because I got to look at the ball at the bullpen for the athletics. And if this goes deep in there, I'm not 100% sure. We'll find out. They're going to let Fingers pitch to Mayberry. And you do here. Fingers looking at Mayberry. Two outs, top of the 10th. Mayberry is 0 for 4. Yet to get a hit. Fingers with the pitch. 4-2 against the lefty. That's a blank. Mayberry will swing the bat. 6-6. Six, six. Ground ball to short. Up with it is Campanaris. Throws the first. 1-2-3. Go the Royals. Royals retired in order, and Fingers does the job at least as best as he could, even though he gave even though he gave up a hit, although that run is not charged to him. That run was charged to Lindblad. But we go to the bottom of the tenth, tied at four. Liddell has two batters he can face before tiring. Leading off for the Athletics will be Phil Garner. Garner is 0 for 3. Bottom of the tent, tied at 4. As BBBB says, no ghost runners here. Yep, we don't put runners on second base. That rule's an abomination. Liddell will go ahead and make the pitch to Garner. Here it comes. 6-2. That's at the park. Oakland Coliseum. 4-3. And that is going to be a fly out to left. Out number one. One out. The batter now is Billy Williams. And we're going to see a pinch hitter for Williams here. And it can't be anybody. It is extra inning. So Williams is going to come out of the game. And now taking over at designated hitter will be Ron Fairley. Ron Fairley, a late trade from the St. Louis Cardinals in 76. 256 average, three homers, 31 RBIs. Ron Fairley will now come on against Liddell. One out, bottom of the 10th. Liddell trying to get this to the 11th. Pitch on the way. 4-4. Four, four. Strike out one. Got him. Struck him out. He gets Fairley. Fairley will take over at DH for now. And now the batter is Bill North. Liddell is now tired. And he will stay out there. And try to complete the inning as you should. North is one for four, has a double in this game. North does not have home run power against righties, but he can get a good hit to keep the inning alive. Two outs. Liddell with the pitch. Four, two. Strikeout plus ten. Got him. He struck him out, and the inning is over. One, two, three. Go the A's. After 10, still tied at four. Top of the 11th inning. The Royals have right, right switch coming up. And they're going to bring in a righty as fingers is tired. I don't think you'll let him pitch any further. So now it becomes a battle of attrition here for both teams. Coming on to pitch for Oakland will be Jim Todd. Seven wins, eight losses, four saves. 
a 3-8-1 ERA. Jim Todd will be the fifth, will be the fifth A's pitcher. So here's Jim Todd against Hal McCray. McCray is one for three. Top of the 11 tied at four. Todd will make the pitch. Three, four. Walk plus 10 and he'll walk McCray. And the go-ahead run is on. Hal McCray draws a base on balls, and he will go to first. And the batter now is Cowens. Cowens is 0 for 3. Infield at double play depth. McCray is definitely a stealing threat. That is a 10. He doesn't get it, though. Todd will go ahead and make the pitch to Cowens. Pitch on the way. 1-3. Strikeout 3. Got him. Struck out Cowens. He gives up a walk and then a strikeout. Out number one. Cowens is struck out three times tonight. That's the hat trick. Next up will be Bob Stinson. Stinson is one for four. McCray still on it first. Strategy roll means he keeps him there. That's a 15. Stinson's not going to bunt. He'll swing. Todd will make the pitch to Stinson. Top of the 11. Tied at four. Pitch from Todd. 6-6. Six, six. Range play at the park. Oakland Coliseum. 6-6. Six, six. That's a fly ball to right field. That's it to North. North is range is a four. Does he make the play? Yes, he does. Out number two. What a play by North. Fly out to right. Here's Patek. Patek having a good night. He's two for four. They will let him back. The Royals do have some pretty good hitters on the bench. Patek will bat against Todd. McCray on it first. Todd will make the pitch. Checking a strategy roll. That is a six. McCray not going anywhere. Todd will make the pitch to Potek. Here it comes. Todd, six, three, walk, nine. Yep, he walked him. And now the go-ahead run is in scoring position. The batter now is Frank White. White is one for four. White, though, is an excellent range at second base. Do you sacrifice range to try to bring up a hitter that can probably get the hit you need? I think you do. Frank White is going to come out of the game, and coming on to pinch it for White will be Tommy Davis. Davis hits 265. He also has good power against righties. He can hit a home run at 12. Dave Nelson will take over at second base. Not as good as range, but he still has a range of three, so Nelson will take over at second. So here's Tommy Davis, who was, per, who was traded from the California Angels later in the year in 76. So he will come up to bat here. Runners at first and second. Two outs. Infield is back. Todd will have to make a good pitch. Here it comes from Todd. Rolling a strategy roll. That is an 11. Nothing happening. Todd will pitch. 5-6, wild pitch, 11, yes, it's a wild pitch, and the runners move up. A wild pitch, and the runners move. Another wild pitch by the Athletics. Second wild pitch of the game for them. 
And you're going to still pitch to Tommy Davis. So now runners at second and third. Todd cannot immediately jumps up and talks to Jim Todd. Now he knows he's got to make a good pitch here. Two outs, top of the 11th. Fans here at Oakland Coliseum hoping Todd can get out of this inning. Here's the – I'll re-roll the strategy. That's a 16, no play. Todd will go ahead and make the pitch. 3-1, that's a walk. That 15 is too high. Davis will swing the bat. 2-4, and it's a ground ball to second base. Up with his garter, throws the first, and the A's get out of it. No runs, no hits, two walks, no errors, and the and the Royals can't believe that they could not get those runs in. Stays tied at four. Bottom of the 11th inning. Bert Campanaris leads off for Oakland. They have three righties. Mark Liddell is done. He did his job. The Royals will have to go to the bullpen here. Coming on to pitch for the Royals will be Ken Sanders making his first appearance here in the postseason. Ken Sanders, a late purchase from the New York Mets. Late in 76, so Sanders is now is on the Royals here, and this is his first appearance. So here's Ken Sanders against Bert Campanaris. Hope everybody can hear me. I'm not sound messed up. I should be all right. Refresh your browser, BBBB. So Bert Campanaris, he will lead off here. Sanders can pitch to six batters. Campanaris is 0 for 4. And here is Sanders. His first appearance for the Royals here. And he'll go up against Campanaris. Bottom of the 11th inning. Sanders with the pitch. 3 4. That's at the park. Oakland Coliseum says 4 4. And that's going to be a base hit to center field at the single. It's also a possible double. Campanaris must try for second. It's a single plus to center. Campanaris' base running rating is a three. Center fielder Cowens has a plus one. A one to four. Campanaris is safe at second. He is. And the Athletics have the series winning run at second base. Campanaris leadoff double. As he makes up finally for the error, and he is on second. Question is, can Oakland bring him in? Winning run at second base. And they are going to walk Don Baylor intentionally and set up a double play which is the right thing to do. So intentionally walk Baylor to set up a double play and get to two outs if possible, but they have to pitch to Joe Rudy. Rudy is two for four, two for three, a double and a single. So they now set up a double play chance to try to get two outs here. Ken Sanders will pitch to Rudy in the bottom of the 11th. I am rolling the strategy roll. Sanders does have balk chance. That is a one. Campanaris is not going to go to third. He'll stay put. You do not want to make it out at third base. Campanaris will stay at second. Sanders getting ready to pitch to Rudy. Bottom of the 11th, tied at four. The series winning run at second base. Sanders with the pitch. 5-3, strikeout eight. 
got him. Struck him out. He gets Rudy. Big strikeout by Sanders, and that's out number one. Now the batter will be Sal Bando. Bando has a home run in this game. The only hit he has this postseason, he has one for four. Tied at four. Double play death. A double play gets the Royals out of the inning. Rolling a strategy roll. That is a 16, nothing happening. Campanaris on its second. Baylor first on an intentional walk. The pitch is going to go to Bando. Sanders makes the pitch. Three, five. That's an automatic out. And it's going to be a fly out to left. Fly ball to left field. That is out number two. Campanaris will stay at second. Two down. Now the batter is Gene Tennis. Tennis is over four. There's nobody else really to bring on the ballpark. So runners at first and second, and Sanders will pitch to Tennis. Tennis is yet to get a hit in this game. He's over four. Two outs. Checking strat. That is a 16. Nothing happening. Campanaris at second. Series winning run at second base. Baylor on at first. Sanders will make the pitch to tennis. It's a 4-6. It's a range play at the park. Range play at the park. Oakland Coliseum will say 6-5. And that is a home run into center field against a righty. Sit. Oh, he got it. I don't believe it. He got it. Range play at the park. 6-5. Home run to center field against the righty. Tennis is a 20. You got to be kidding me. Kaboom. High. Deep. Gone. The A's punch their ticket to the ALCS. Walk-off home run for Gene Tennis. He got it. Stadium goes nuts. Yay! A 6-5 on a range play at the park. And Oakland Coliseum is a home run to center. Tennis has a 20. There's no range play on that. Tennis completely obliterates that ball. The A's win the game 7-4. They advance. To the AL, to the American League Championship Series, they have knocked out the Royals. Walk-off home run by Gene Tennis. And they are mauling him at the plate. They maul him at the plate. Gene Tennis, a walk-off home run. A range play at the park off of Sanders. And it winds up a home run to center field. And you can't have a range play on that when Tennis had a 20. And he got it. A's win it 7-4 to four and win the series three games to one. The number two seed is out. Game of the year candidate automatically three runs on two hits. A three-run bomb by Gene Tennis. And the A's knock out the Royals. Final line score coming up.
for the Oakland Athletics. Seven runs on 11 hits and one error for the Royals. Four runs on seven hits and no errors. The winning pitcher is Jim Todd. He gets the win and goes to 1-0. and And Ken Sanders takes the loss. His only appearance here in the postseason, and he gives up a home run courtesy of Oakland Coliseum. He takes the loss and drops to 0-1. The Kansas City Royals, the American League West champions, are out. The Oakland Athletics will go to the American League Championship Series and will play either the Yankees or the Red Sox. What a game! Automatic Game of the Year candidate for 76. And the A's have done it. They knock out the Royals. And the fans here at Oakland Coliseum are cheering like crazy. Concerning the ALCS schedule, if the Red Sox win, Oakland will host games 1, 2, 6, and 7. If the Yankees win, games 1, 2, 6, and 7 will be in Yankee Stadium. Since Oakland is the three seed. So very possible the Athletics will have home field advantage for the ALCS against either the Red Sox or the Yankees. What an incredible game here. And you guys wonder why I think inside pitch is the most exciting tabletop game you can play. Oakland Coliseum. The big boom by Gene Tennis as he got the home run off of Sanders. And the A's win it 7-4 to four and take the series three games to one. Tomorrow night, it will be game four of the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the New York Mets. Can the Mets, can my Mets get it to a game five, or will my, my team end their season tomorrow? It will be Larry Christensen for the Phillies and Mickey Lolich for the Mets. Who knows what will happen tomorrow night? You'll have to wait 20, I will have to wait 24 hours to find out. BB BB Brian Patterson, Brandon Baker, Steeler fan, Beatles eternally, Bob B, Salvador America, Mungo Jerry, 311, Keith White, Zalapsky, Smurf. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Please leave a like on your way out to the turnstiles. Subscribe if you've not done so. And make sure you hit the bell. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay smart. Stay strong. And we will see you guys tomorrow night. The Oakland Athletics walk off three run homer by Gene Tennis. They win the game seven to four and eliminate the Royals three games to one. We'll see you guys tomorrow night. Take care.